Father, I bless you, Lord. 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 Oh, bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Yeah. Yes, atala baze te re 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 baze ni matara ra ra basa eh. Ken tala baze te le brede ke sin te le brado sata. Maka san te le brado sin te le brede ke de basan te le brado shanta. Hallelujah, Lord, I praise you. You're worthy, 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 you're worthy. Lord, we love you, Lord, yeah. Cantala basiri patata, ratari tatari tatata. God, we praise you, Lord. You're worthy, Lord, yeah. Masi telebrado zanta, ken telebrada kasin telebrado kosente, ken talabrada dada bayasente, ken talabasi telebrado sita, masi telebrede kesin telebrava basanta. Good morning, everyone. I just want to bless the Lord for you this day. Um, yeah, I just want to bring you some Bible reading and and morning devotion, as you may want to call it, or just devotion. We're going to read the word, but first, just pray together. And I'm waiting for you all to join. Uh, Yasmin, I see you. Good morning. God bless you. And so I'm waiting for the others to join too. As as more people come in, uh, we uh, I'll just uh, get it started. But for now, I just want us to pray together and just pray in the spirit as 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 the worship goes on. If you pray, just just let's get our hearts ready and wherever you may be, and just let's begin to seek His face a little bit this morning. Okay. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, Kinda la 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 basita la basita. Sin te le brede o gozanta. Le gezeta, le prasuta, le prasuta, le prasuta, le prasuta, le prasuta, le prasuta. Lord, we love you, Lord. You were the Lord, you were the Lord. Que le prasata. Feel free to share this. You can share it on your page, and I'll, I'll maybe in another one or two minutes, and then we're just gonna start. Just let us pray a little bit and just worship the Lord together, okay? You're the Lord. You're the Lord. You're the Lord. You're the Lord. Kela basita. Hinda la 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 baka sente lebre de kesi anta la brasata. Oh, yeah. Yes, you were the Lord. You were the Lord. You were the Lord. Hinda la ba sente lebre de kesi anta la brada basata. Shi kata sa kata kata rante lebre de kesi anta la brada de kesa pasanta. Yes, you're worthy, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Ha. Yeah. I want you to open your Bibles with me this morning to the book of Proverbs. I like to read the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, from 1. And so if you're there, I'm going to wait for you a little bit. Let me know if you're there. Hallelujah. Yeah, Jasmine is there. You're welcome. Good to see you. <laughs> if anyone is there, please let me know you're on so we can get this on. Hallelujah. Makasan Talabazi Telebrosa. Thank you, gracious God. We just love you. We just want to love on the Lord this morning. This is the Holy Week, as, as it is called, the Holy Week. And so as, as we come, as, as we enter this, we've entered since on Sunday with a triumphant entry. And today is Thursday. 
It's also called the Shia Thursday. And um, it's a Thursday before the crucifixion, which is tomorrow. By the way, tomorrow uh, we're going to have a service, an Easter service, a uh, Good Friday service, rather, on Friday. And so I at 6, 6 p.m., 6 p.m. So I, I hope you can join us. And I'll be looking forward to, to having you. And we're going to be sharing the Word of God, uh, some worship, and, and just, it's a unique day. Without Easter, our faith, I mean, our faith as Christians, it's, it's, it's limited. Easter is so important to us as Christians, to our faith. Christ died on the cross for you and for me, on the cross for you and for me. And, and, and this is what we're celebrating. We're celebrating his life, his death, and more importantly, his resurrection. Hallelujah. Amen. But this morning, um, I'm not talking about the death and the resurrection. I just want to read a Bible passage. Uh, with you. So if you open your Bibles, do you have your Bibles opened up? If you have your Bibles opened up, and then we're just going to start reading. I'm going to start reading. Amen. Pharaoh, I see you. Welcome. Uh, I want to read Proverbs. Proverbs. Uh, somebody write it out for me. If you hear what I'm saying, Proverbs chapter 3. So you can just write it out. Uh, that's what we're reading this morning or this afternoon. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, please let me know. Say, I'm ready. Hallelujah. Your Bible, your iPhone, your iPad, whatever you use for the, for the Word, if you're there, let me know you're ready. And we're going to get this on. That's good. All right. So I'm going to just start reading, okay? Amen. Father, bless the reading of your Word this morning. Let it bring peace grace to someone that your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Father Lord in Jesus name yes Jasmine is there that's good praise God I see also Pharaoh yeah praise God all right so let's start reading from verse 1 my son do not forget my law but let your heart keep my commands for length of days and long life and peace they will add to you let not mercy and truth forsake you bind them around your neck write them on the tablet of your heart and so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man trust in the Lord and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Hallelujah. Verse 7. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Honor the Lord with your substances, with your possession, and with the first fruit of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty, and your vats will overflow with new wine. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor detest his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects, just as the Father the son in whom he delights. Happy is the man who finds wisdom, the man or the woman, and the man who grants understanding. For her proceeds are better than the profits of silver. Hmm. I'm reading Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3. Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3. Now I'm on verse 13. Proverbs 3, verse 13. Happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. For her proceeds are better than the profits of silver and her gain fine than gold. She is more precious than rubies 
and all the things you may desire cannot compare with her, my God. Length of days is in her right hand. That's wisdom. In her left hand, riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness. And in her path, Jesus, are peace. She is a tree of life to those who find for to those who find her or take a hold of her, and happy are all who retain her. The Lord by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding he established the heavens. By the knowledge the depths were broken up. The clouds dropped down the dews. My son, let them not depart from your eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion, so they will be life to your soul. Hmm. And grace to your neck. Then you will walk self safely in your way. And your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Hmm. Can I say something here? I've heard many people who have said, I can't sleep well at night. God will grant you good sleep tonight. Sweet sleep in the name of Jesus. He says, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror. Do not be afraid of sudden terror. Proverbs 3, 25. I want you to look at that again. It says, do not be afraid of sudden terror. You know what is going on right now in our world. Terror everywhere. People are scared or afraid. The Bible is saying, do not be afraid of sudden terror. Maybe something is going to happen to me. Something is going to... God is saying to you, and I'm saying to you this morning, in Proverbs 3.25, do not be afraid of sudden terror. Do not be afraid something may happen to you. And for all of our first responders or our caretakers and the nurses and doctors, I'm speaking the word of God to you. All of you in the church and, and all of you who are connected to us in one way or the other, all of you are out of the country, in the country, that are medical personnel, I'm telling you this morning, do not be afraid. God is protecting you. And so do not be afraid of sudden terror. Wow. Nor of trouble from the wicked when it comes. We have heard that the wicked are causing this and wicked are causing, causing that. Your God is able to protect you from every wicked, de wicked deeds. Yes, he is. For the Lord will be your confidence. Hallelujah. The Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. You know, when there's a trap set, an animal puts the feet and is caught, God is saying, even if there is a trap set for you, God said he will protect your feet from being caught. I love my God. Woo, what a joy. He will protect your feet from being caught, the Bible says. So, but, in, but then in verse 27 he says, Do not withhold good from those whom it is due. If there is somebody that has offended you, forgive them. If there is somebody that, if you need to pay your staff, don't hold your money back because you say there's crisis and you don't want to pay because don't play tricks with God. If you need to pay somebody something, pay them. If you need to do good to somebody, do good to them. That's what the Bible verses say. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in the power of your hand to do so. So if you can do good to someone, don't hold your hand back just because you have the power to do so. Do not say to your neighbor, go and come back tomorrow and I will give it to you when you have it with you right now. As I said, we are reading the word of wisdom this morning, chapter 3. Do not withhold good. Do not withhold good from people when you have the ability to do it right now. 
Do not devise evil against your neighbor, for he will... Let me take that again. Do not devise evil against your neighbor, for he dwells by you for safety's sake. Do not strive with a man without cause, if he has done you no harm. Do not envy the oppressor. I'm reminded of when David looked looked around and saw so many wicked people prospering everything he looked as if things were working for them uh, they don't have any problems looks like those who do evil are succeeding and then he said this in Psalm 73 until I went into the temple then I saw their end and that their feet was on a slopey slope on a on a on a uh, slippery slope so do not envy the way of the wicked the Bible is saying here and choose none of his ways for the perverse person is an abomination to the Lord but his secret counsel is with the upright the curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked but he blesses the home of the just God is blessing your home God is I'm not just saying he will God is blessing he has he is and he'll continue to bless your home because you are a just person in the name of the Lord surely his cons is scornful but gives grace to the humble the wise shall inher inherit gl glory but shame shall be the legacy of fools Wow but where I'm dwelling on this morning as the word that I'm bringing to you is from that Proverbs 3 if you go back with me to verse 3 to 5 actually to 6 let's 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 just take 5 if there's just one verse we can take with us today just 5 trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not onto your own understanding this is always a challenge for many of us Trusting God can be a, a huge work, can be a huge challenge because sometimes we know what to do. We really do know what to do. We know how to fix things. We know how to make things work. But God is saying, trust me and I will fix it for you. Do not look to your own understanding. All you know is what you know. You don't know what God knows. You don't know what he has in stock for you. And so this morning, this is what I want to bring to you. God is able to make all grace abound towards you. He is a father that cares. He sees you. He knows what you're going through. And I want to encourage you at that this season that we are in to constantly build yourself, build your faith. Talk to God. You don't need to spend. And that's why I'm bringing these things to you like this. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes in a day. But make it regular. Let it be regular. And God's grace will be revealed in a way that you will not understand it. He's beautiful. He's gracious. It abounds to us in all that we say and do. Because he does, he does care. He really does care for us. You're welcome, Pharaoh. You're welcome, Yasmin. And so I'm leaving you with this this morning. That Trust in the Lord, really, in all your ways. It pays. It's what I've experienced personally. Every time I try to do things on my own, it fails. <laughs> Why? Because God wants me to trust in Him. Not just that, especially when I try to do things on my own, with my own energy, my own effort. I know you can do things and get away with them, but I can't. And so I don't even try anymore because God is watching. He wants me to depend on him. He wants you to depend on him. He wants to be the one guiding you, leading you. Could it be that God knows the way? Is it possible God knows the answer to what you're searching for? Could it be that he can direct you in a way that only he can? And that when he talks, his voice is clear. You will understand what he's saying. There will be no ambiguities. I bless you this morning. I know most of some of you are at work right now. And for those of you who are at home, please take the time 
and seek the face of the Lord. He is still able. We serve a God that sees clearly and He is able to touch you, to reach you where you are. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make His face shine upon you and be gracious on you from now and forevermore. In Jesus' name. Can we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for every single person this morning or afternoon or evening, whatever time it is in different parts of the world. Lord, I ask that your grace, your peace will abound greatly upon every single one. Lord, I pray for Pharaoh. I pray for Yasmin. I don't know who else is online right now, but you do know them. But I just bless everyone right now. Thank you for this opportunity, this possibility to be able to reach out to your people. I release your grace, your peace right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you.